The most oppressed group of people you have gamers and then Twitch moderators are getting zero play and doing all the work. If Twitch moderators stopped existing, we would collapse as a society. This is proven before. Now, I'm sure we've all heard the phrase, what's the worst you could say? No. The worst thing she could say is no is a common phrase told to you by your parents to make you hit on that girl and realize she's not into you. I bring you a worse proposition. What if she said yes, kissed you, and then gagged and threw up? Now, this isn't just a hypothetical. This happened on Twitch. I'm going to show you the full video, and then we'll break down the uh, the news behind it. It's, it's, you got to watch this. This is crazy. Sorry, one more shot. One more shot. If you ever want to get drunk really oh, fast, just have to kiss till you'll be fucked up by the time the night's over. Can't do it. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Can you come closer? Okay, this close? Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Whenever you're ready. Can you pucker up? Pucker up. This is my, I have small lips. You just snotted on me. You just snotted on me. That's my allergy. You had those snots went on my leg. It did? Yes. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, come on. Okay, okay. Uh, what's even worse about this clip, honestly, you see right there at the bottom, it says, Dilly sniffs my laundry. Uh, from what I understand, this is Dilly. It, it doesn't get too much better. Don't worry about my eyebrow. I, I got them done today, so they're just, they look a little bit moist. Uh, unlike his lips. Uh -huh. Now, I'm sorry, though. I have to, to, to unveil the nasty here and give you guys the Wizard of Oz, the wizard behind the mask. You know, we're not going to play too much here and, and, and hope this was funny. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I gobbled this up. When I saw this video initially, I gobbled it up like a, like a hot soup on a cold winter day. I just didn't question anything, okay? Didn't question a thing. A happy cow in the field, a, a pig in the barn. I consume this thinking none of it. And this is worrying for me. As, as someone who's in marketing and, and went to school for marketing, just graduated, I should know this is clearly marketing. But even I, an educated gentleman in this field of manipulation, was fooled. Troll, if you will. I, I watched this video and thought nothing weird about it. I was like, yeah, this is real. This is so real. Now, I was informed by my friend after I made a funny quote tweet about how this would be my 13th reason. Uh, they told me, and she's well connected. Um, I muted because although I do love her, she's really cool. Uh, she is only fan, so I can't really have that one pulled. Put her up on stream. Uh, that, that would just get me banned. Uh, no more nudity, so I, I can't risk that. However, she did let me know they are friends. It was for a script. And Caitlin verified this as well, saying uh, a funny line of uh, my charity work for the year, which just double downs and uh, jokes aside that they are friends. So I'm sorry to, to get you edged up and so excited for this news and then tell you that it's all a sham and I lied to you. You fell for it like I fell for it because it fell for this joke. I'm a trusty guy. However, I do want to touch on the scary kind of part about this, right? The scary, dark uh, message behind this situation. You see, this also happened... A month ago, if you guys watch Penguin Z, was critical, great guy, love his content. I try to do something similar myself. However, he posted on Ruby Rose's situation, which was this guy allegedly spending sixty thousand dollars to meet Ruby Rose, and uh, he got a tattoo of her on his leg, which was the uh, big, big spoil of it. However, it did turn out a few days later that this situation was actually fake. Marketing team got together and it made this all happen, and. You know, plan this all out so it's it's a little scary you know i, I think in general it it's it, it makes us go whoa what, what do we believe anymore you know you don't want to live life thinking everything's fake because then life just loses the wonder and whimsical uh joy of it all. This, this caught me too i got tricked i got trolled i, I thought this this really did happen i do want to believe though the situation is probably accurate to what would happen i think um in general the thought of this is a scary situation even if it's fake Horrifying. I, I don't. I think personally, without saying exactly what I would do, but um, personally, personally, if I was in the situation, I'd probably end it in front of her to change the course of her life. Like, there's no way that everyone on Twitch gets to watch that and watch me walk. I'm not going home. I'm not making. It, personally, I'm not making it home. I cannot risk getting caught like that. That is horrifying. Now, I wouldn't in general go to a Twitch streamer's house as a Twitch mod and expect anything but to be made fun of. However, he did it. Tough, man. Uh, society. We live in a society. But that's the news for the day. Uh, watch. Be careful. 
pay attention to the news. It's not always real. You know, I don't want to be conspiracy nut, but don't, uh, I don't believe everything you hear. This could become on my head. You don't even know. Maybe I lied about the eyebrow thing. Maybe I got cummed on. 